it's my opinion, and it's an educated opinion, that families help sell your items. And they also help you get better feedback. So I want to talk about the family situation when it comes to being a reseller. Even if you don't have a family, I think there is a way to have the impression of a family without being dishonest or anything. Let's talk about that. First and foremost, remember you can ask me anything, whether it's beginning or advanced. Just ask in the comments below. No big deal. We have a Facebook group. You're welcome to join that. It's free. Why wouldn't you? You can cancel at any time. There's a whole lot more going on over there because of the nature of being able to do posts and questions and comments on Facebook that doesn't really translate well to YouTube. But, and you can certainly ask questions there on the wall or ask questions of me personally in a direct message. But I stay on YouTube a lot and I'll see your questions probably first here. So ask anything that you want, anything about eBay. Even if it doesn't apply to this topic, ask away. Back to families. I, I remember whenever I took my now, my wife, over to meet my parents and they didn't look too happy. They set us down and looked sternly over to the couch and said, we think you really deserve better than this. And I said, but I love, and they said, we were talking to her. So maybe this isn't such a good idea. No, anyway, moving on. I believe that the advantage of eBay is it is still, it still has a community feel. I was there in the very early days of eBay. I started back in 1999. It was really just getting its feet wet. It had been around for three or so years at that point, but it really was just beginning to be a platform that was really usable by a wide audience, wider audience back then. We would think it's very primitive today, the website, but for its time, it was very advanced to be able to bid on items and all of that that we used to do so much. It's really not good to create a bunch of auctions anymore unless you have collectible items. We'll talk about that sometime on this channel. But it had a community feel. It was people to people, family to family. It really had a community feel. And I think eBay still has that. I think people still know we're buying from individuals. Sure, some companies, a lot of companies sell on eBay. And everyone knows that they're buying from selling to individuals and families mostly. And I think we can use that to our advantage. I've talked before about putting a personal note in every package. I find it best to just write on the packing slip that eBay will let us print for each item. But it's nice to write a personal note. And the reasoning is we will probably get better feedback. Probably our buyer will be happier from the purchase. There's something about that. Waitresses have known for a long time that if they put a happy face on the ticket that they leave at your table, they get a little bit higher tip. Why is that? It's because they're personalizing, they're humanizing the experience. Someone said, someone looks at that and says, oh, she wrote us a little, you know, happy face. Not a big deal, but it brings a return. They find that if they write a little note, like, glad you were here, thanks for coming, I hope you ask for me in the future, or something like that, they get an even bigger tip. And again, it's just because it personalizes the transaction. You're no longer just buying from a, you know, a restaurant, but she's bringing herself into your whole transactional experience when it's time to pay and you think of her more in that situation. I think the same thing happens with eBay. I think you should always say, we, now if it's just you, yourself, and that's it, I don't know how you have anything other than a we. Maybe if you've got a goldfish, you can include your goldfish in that we, you know, that corporate us type of feel. If you've got anybody in your life, friends that have come over and you've talked about eBay and you've helped them and maybe they've helped bring in some boxes from places you've sourced, they can be part of your we. But I think it's good to always say we on your notes, on anything that you, on your listings to say, when we saw this item, we just knew that someone on eBay would really love it. Something, whenever you're talking about a personal experience on eBay, inside a description. And remember, stories do kind of help sell items. You don't want to make it real long, real short and sweet, but background can help sell a lot of items. Not probably toothpaste, you know, but a lot of more collectible personal items, a background can help. So I think you should consider always saying we, and if you can bring a second name or two into your note, you should. I always sign every note that, that we put in every package that we sell, even if my wife is out of town, I will say, we appreciate you. You know, we hope that this pen 
looks wonderful on you for years to come, something like that, you know, and say, we appreciate you, sincerely offered Janie and Greg Perry. And we'll put our phone number there as well. Text or voice, I'll say text or voice at any, text or voice us at any time at, and I'll put our phone number on every single note. And I hate writing those notes, but I think it's important. And we get a lot of feedback that mentions those notes. No one handwrites notes anymore. That's just one part of this whole family thing, family feel, or we feel that will that will increase, I believe, the desire of your buyer to be happier with her purchase or his purchase. I think whenever they transact with individuals or with a family, even if something's wrong with the item, they're more likely to work with you than they are to just chuck it off and throw it away and give you a negative feedback and be angry. I think they're more willing to work with you. I think my experience proves that to be the case. Let's look at a couple of ways to do this. On eBay. In my personal eBay, I have several selling accounts, but in my personal account, uh, I always have a picture of my wife and I here at, it, at the lead, and you can just edit. You can click Manage My Store, and you can edit your store and change all the pictures. If you're an everything seller, like I think a lot of people who watch this channel are, I think it's kind of nice to do sort of a mid-century modern type of picture. You know, how, if you sell toys, what do you do? Do you put science fiction toys? Maybe, especially if that's all that you sell, you know, Star Trek, Star Wars types of stuff. But if you sell a variety of things, what image do you put for your for that store category? Because eBay allows us to have three or four or five store category pictures, and they'll always show those pictures. I think it's good to get more of a mid-century feel, especially if you sell collectible types of items and older items a lot of times. You can still sell new items, new toys as well. It's fine. But these mid-century old 50s and 60s types of images, you'll find free, copyright-free images on, on Google Image all over the place. Just enter the, the topic that you want, you know, toys, home and garden, Christmas, whatever, and you'll find these. Now, I think you should also, in your about part of your store, describe yourself. I do, and this is really true. We are a joyful husband and wife. Sometimes I think that's too braggy. And sometimes I think it's just right to tell a buyer. So I keep it. We are a joyful husband and wife who've sold on eBay for more than two decades. I should change that to more than two and a half decades to pay for some extra bills. We're super excited to buy and sell with you. A buyer's favorite word is you. Okay. They like to hear this. Anytime you're writing a description, a condition, or anything like this, or a note, or anything on eBay, I want you to act like you're talking to your best friend, to you, to one person. You're talking to one person. Because in every buyer or potential buyer's mind, they're one person reading a note from you, and you want it to be one-on-one, -on -one, or in our case, two-on-one. We are super excited to buy and sell with you. The best thing about eBay is that it still has a family-to-family -family community spirit. That's what I said earlier. Thank you so much for considering our family's business today. We appreciate you, and we really do, sincerely offered Janie and Greg. I think that's a very positive statement, and if you just want to basically steal mine and use it, I don't care. Great. That's why you're here, is to learn new ways, edit it to match your situation however you need to do it, and just use all that you want. I could go to my feedback. If I went to my feedback, I bet right away we see notes. We see the word note. Just received my basket. The sellers included a lovely personal message. Look, number two, the second, the second, uh, they, oh, they accepted my, see, notice they, this, this buyer knows we are we, okay? Now this was all me. I remember this item, but they sent an offer and I put some funny message in there. And of course, from us, from Janie and Greg, and they accepted my offer with a humorous acceptance message. I think I said something like, you got us on a good day. We'd normally not ever accept an offer this low. That was kind of true, but I was ready to just get the item out of the way. So that was an excellent as, let's see, even, even left a nice note and wrapped the item in some beautiful wrapping. So we, we, we've now seen five feedbacks and two of them mentioned this note. The seller is up front when he returned, follow through. Okay, two out of five mentioned the note. I told you we could probably find one right away mentioning a note. Whenever you do this, and I don't know why that little pencil there, logo is there. It's a, your buyer will actually see your store's picture here, and it should be your family, either two of you, all of you, whatever. Now, I want to go down and show you one more thing, but you can't really see this, can you? Okay, let me. 
do this. At the bottom of every page, every description, I have kind of what I call boilerplate text and boilerplate text, and that's these bottom four lines. They go in pretty much everything that I list. These are at the bottom. They're just kind of my, oh, not conditions or requirements or anything, but I'm just informing the buyer of certain things that they often ask about, and this way they don't have to ask. But I say ships from a pet-free and smoke-free home. If that's true for you, I strongly suggest you use my line or reward it as you use anything you ever see of mine. Just steal anything that I'm showing you. It's all yours. No big deal. Okay, ships from a pet-free and smoke-free home. If that's true, be sure and say that. Now, I don't know the origin of a lot of things that I sell. I might sell something that is from a smoker's home. But as long as it doesn't have any odor or the yellowing that smoke can cause over decades, like on many paintings, you can tell if a painting is from a smoker's home or not. It's been in there a long time because the painting will yellow. Now, you can professionally get that taken off, but it's going to cost you some money. So it's got to be worth worth it in order to do that. Ships from a pet-free and smoke-free home. So the smoke-free, that's understandable. A lot of people just don't want their stuff to smell like smoke. I don't guarantee it was never in a smoker's home. I just say it ships from, and I've smelled every single thing that I sell, every piece of clothing and so forth. Of course, we wash everything, all pieces of clothing. That's a requirement on eBay if it is a used item pre-owned item. I also say ships from a pet-free home. Now, we are now a pet-free home, but we weren't for, for years and years and years and years. We had dog after dog. We always had two dogs. Two dogs are actually easier than one because they kind of make each other happy whenever you're gone. You know, that way they have someone to talk to. But we don't have dogs anymore. Now, whenever we did, just a few months ago, we lost our last one. But a few months ago, you would have never seen ships from a pet-free and smoke-free home. But since we are pet-free, some people are allergic to dog hair, cat hair. Not all dogs are allergy-producing dogs. Like I know Bichon says they don't shed, and they're good for people who are normally allergic to dogs. A lot of times, people who are allergic to dogs don't have a problem with Bichon says and there are some other breeds that they don't have a problem with. But I would never say ships from a pet-free home if we weren't a pet-free home. I didn't used to be able to say this. That would be dishonest. I'm not going to be dishonest. I'm, I'm not going to risk being found out, but I'll never be found out by some buyer that is from a pet-free home. home. Whenever I say it's a pet-free, if we had a pet, they're never going to find out, but I just don't want to be dishonest. These people are giving us money. They're trusting us. I want to earn that trust, and the only way to do that is to be honest. Let's go back to your possible family picture here, to this family picture. If you show a picture of your family and if you describe your family in your About Me area of your store, I have, in all the years that we had multiple dogs, I never ever showed our dog or mentioned our dog in any picture or anything on eBay because there are some people who, as I said, are allergic to dogs and dog hair. They just don't want to risk buying something from a dog family. Some people don't like dogs, but they're losers. No, I'm just kidding. Some people like cats more than dogs. Okay, great, whatever. Some people are allergic to cat hair. You don't want to put cats in your family picture. This is what I'm getting at. As much as you love dogs, and as much as many, many people love dogs and cats all over America, all over the world, it's probably best not to mention those whenever you're talking about your family. Now, in any other situation, you want to bring in the family pets, right? I mean, you know, they're part of the family. You know that. They're part of your family. But it's probably not best to point them out in an eBay situation as a seller. Probably best. As hard as it is not to, because they are part of your family, you probably shouldn't, because you probably will lose sales if you do that. Just a word of advice of a word of caution. Otherwise, eBay should be a family affair. I think that you're going to find that if you just say, you don't even have to say married, you don't have, you might just be two roommates, whatever. If they help you ever with your business, bring them in to all of your notes. Use that we, that corporate we of your of your uh, two-bedroom apartment living situation when you're renting out one room to a friend. Make that friend part of the we. You're not being dishonest. You don't have to say family. You can just say we and, you know, George and I or whatever. You can you can bring in a roommate or a best friend who's helped you in the past. Consider doing that. And 
if worst case you can just use I, but it's probably better to say we. It, it generates a feel of more of a family situation. And I think that it will be much harder for future buyers to leave bad feedback for you. I think it will be future harder for your future buyers to return items without trying to work it out with you first.